Hi, I'm Aaron Grebner, and I'm a member at Salem Lutheran Church. I've experienced generosity through this very congregation as they helped me raise the money to go on a mission trip to Guatemala a few years ago. The trip changed my life, and it changed the life of all the people that I help. I've also experienced generosity as well as all of the people of the Salem Youth Ministry um, as they helped raise funds for us to go to events such as the ELCA Youth Gathering and also Leadership Lab. Salem family, growing people in Christ to love and serve. That is our mission, our motto, so to speak. Although I have not seen them in person, one thing I know for sure is the kids at Salem have been growing these past few months. Oh, I've seen pictures on Facebook, but even more so, these confident young people have been sharing readings and music for our online worship and creative vacation Bible school videos. Oh, no doubt, due to the current circumstances, our young people have had to grow in patience, responsibility, dealing with disappointment, learning to adapt, and most importantly, in their faith. We've all had to grow in these aspects. Salem as a church has had a growth spurt in the way we reach and minister to others by providing online worship and the Zoom gatherings and Zoom Bible studies, virtual vacation Bible school, virtual Sunday school, and the good old fashioned pick up the phone just to see how you are. Luckily, we've had the staff and volunteers willing and able to grow into new roles to accomplish this. As we anticipate being able to gather again, I cannot wait to see the other ways we've grown. No, I don't mean older by evidence of gray hair or by our, our waistbands from all that home cooking. I mean by how, what we have discovered we value the most at Salem. For most of us, that is worshiping and working side by side as the communion of saints and communion at the Lord's table. I also cannot wait to see how we grow into the new space as we return. Yes, initially that large Europa space is gonna help us social distance, but it won't be long before we hear friendly hellos being shared from the second floor clear down to people in the atrium. And it will be easy to see Salem in action. You'll be able to see where to take your canned goods and pick up your pin pal letter and support fair trade and you know sign up for whatever. Stepping into Salem will be welcoming for guests and they won't need a map on where to go. The parents of young kids are really gonna appreciate the preschool and nursery wing. The classrooms and the, the conference rooms, they're spacious and soon they're gonna be buzzing with Bible studies, but I cannot wait until we have to squeeze in some other seats. And although our Christmas Sunday School program will be virtual this year, I look forward to filling that larger chancel floor with angels, room for their wings to spread out, and shepherds, donkeys, and sheep all singing, go tell it on the mountain in full voice. I look forward to another growth spurt as we live out our mission to love and serve. As Peter concluded in his letter to the church, so do I, from 2 Peter 3.18. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory, both now and forever. Amen. <laughs>